During that prayer, I can hear you all, I can see you all. But the moment about when our lady is supposed to come, I feel within myself such intense emotions, and I know this is the moment. And in that very moment when our lady comes, everything else disappears. After that moment I do not see you, I do not hear you, but everything turns blue like a sky and Our Lady standing in the middle. During that, uh, those moments I do not feel my body, I always knew that, but that was even confirmed by those experts who examined us. Because during the apparition I can see only her and I can hear only her. She's always in a grey dress and white veil. Except on Christmas and Easter when her dress gets kind of golden color. Our Lady never touches the ground and she's always about a feet and a half above the ground. She has dark hair and it's long. Because you can see her hair below the veil at the forehead and behind, which means it's long. She has blue eyes and she's wonderful. Because it is impossible to describe the beauty that is shining out of her face. As the children at that time, we asked Our Lady a childish question. We said, how comes that you are so beautiful? She smiled and she replied, I'm beautiful because I love. She said, my children, if you want to be that beautiful, then love.
Today's message of today, this is not completely correct translation, just roughly. You will have it during the day in the information office. Dear children, today I am inviting you to love with all your heart, with all your soul. Pray for the gift of love. Because when soul loves, it call my son to itself. It calls my son to itself. My son does not refuse those who invite him and who want to live according to him. Pray for those who do not realize love, those who do not understand what it means to love. Pray so that God may be their father and not the judge. Dear children, be my apostles. You be my river of love. I need you. Thank you. Our Lady was joyful and she blessed all of us and all religious articles.